All right, just getting my greens in for the day. As you can see, living that healthy lifestyle. Mmm, so good. Disgusting. Really think I would eat that. Welcome to the video guys. This video is all about how I build muscle while staying shredded because that's what I'm doing at the moment. We're gonna talk about my nutrition, we're gonna show you a good meal, we're gonna talk about my workouts because later on we got a big chest workout coming up. But first I need to go to the grocery store because I need to pick up some food and some hair products because I need to fix this. Let's go. something sweet and a monster is always good because caffeine is life but yeah starting this video with my pre-workout meal that's gonna be some whole grain noodles with some chicken and some mixed veggies it's gonna be a nice little stir fry also gonna have some hot sauce so these noodles are already done so you only need to open up the package and just put it in the pan warm it up and it's good to go. Very easy, very quick. Great if you're short on time and don't have time to make them yourself. For the chicken also, I just went for these chicken pieces. These are cooked already and this one is sweet chili flavor. So that's even better. Just throw that in. I'm also gonna add in half of this package of mixed vegetables. Drizzle a bit on top. So for the nutrition part, I keep it pretty simple because first I got pretty lean and then I tried to build muscle. Now I eat around, I think 2,800 calories. That is around my maintenance, maybe a little bit under my maintenance, but that way I make sure that I stay lean and I can focus more on progressive overload in the gym and trying to build muscle. Now I'm just looking at my weaker points and trying to build those up to get a more balanced physique. And yeah, that is pretty much what I'm doing, what the plan is for the next couple of months at least. And to be honest, I also don't really like to bulk. I know a lot of people do like these bulking and cutting phases, but I don't like it personally because when you bulk, you also gain a little bit of body fat. And when you do that for a long period of time, you just get fat and I don't want that. So that's why I try to stay lean while building muscle. And this is my way to do it. And it's actually working pretty well because I'm getting stronger. I see improvements in my weak points and I'm still lean. So that's how I do it at the moment. And for my meals, I like to keep it pretty simple. You know that you can basically eat whatever you want as long as you stick to your daily calorie goals. But to be honest, I just like to eat healthy meals. I know you can fit in some unhealthy cheap foods but i don't need them my meals are pretty tasty i like to eat my meals and i'm looking forward to all my meals every single day so that's why i don't need them and when i stick to my healthier foods to my healthier meals i don't even get the cravings to eat something sweet and if i really really feel like having something sweet i just have a protein bar or something like that you know because these days protein bars taste just as good as like a regular Snickers bar or something like that. So as I said, this is gonna be my pre-workout meal. After this, I'm gonna go grab a coffee and hit the gym for a big chest and tricep workout. It's gonna be a good one, especially after this meal because it's spicy. And always when I have spicy food, I have like these crazy veins going on. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the espresso bar. Yeah.
So I just grabbed a black coffee for some extra caffeine because we got a big session ahead. And I always switch it up. Sometimes I use pre-workout, sometimes I just go with a black coffee. Depends on what I'm feeling. I'm gonna drink this and I'll see you guys at the gym. Made it to the gym, time for a big chest session. As I said, today we're gonna focus on progressive overload. So when it comes to progressive overload, it's not only going heavier with your weight, you can also increase the amount of reps that you do, uh, increase the range of motion, increase um, the intensity. So that means that you maybe take a little less rest between sets. These are all types of progressive overload. So you don't really need to go heavy every single week, you know? So you can play around with all these things and still apply progressive overload in your workouts. So first, we need to warm ourselves up. So what I usually do on chest day is go in the chest machine, chest press machine, lightweight, and just do three, four sets with lightweight. up sets now we're getting to the first working set increasing the weight keeping it pretty heavy eight to ten reps So you always see me do the dumbbell press instead of the regular bench press. That is just because I feel it better. I feel that I have a better range of motion when I do it with dumbbells and I just can focus more on the squeeze, you know? So when I do regular bench press with a straight bar, I feel that sometimes one side pushes just a little more than the other side. And with dumbbells, I just make sure that both sides work just as hard but yeah it just feels better for me so maybe for you a regular bench press the straight bar feels better but for me the dumbbell so you gotta figure out what works for you and stick to that plan and as I said with the progressive overload part for this one we're going just a little heavier than last week and if I notice that it gets too heavy I just drop the weight again and then try to maybe do an extra rep Right, switching to a incline dumbbell press, focusing more on the upper chest. And with this one, I don't go too heavy because I feel when I go too heavy, I lose the my muscle connection and I'm just pushing those wraps out and not really focusing on the squeeze. So that's why I lower the weight and focus more on the contraction. And that's also a tip. Leave your ego at the door and just form the exercise with good form because your form is always more important than the weight that you're lifting. If you want to have the best contraction when you're doing chest presses, make sure that you pull your shoulder blades back like this. Keep them like that. So I always do back and down, and then start with the exercise. That way you have the best contraction. Just imagine that you have like a pencil in between your shoulder blades, and you need to keep it there the entire set. So 
So I noticed that I do a lot of dumbbell work and I don't know why, but it works. It works for me, that's why I stick to it. And it just feels good. I have the best contraction, the best range of motion, and I can really control the weight. So yeah, I don't do a lot of machine work, maybe a little bit of cable work to finish my workouts off, but I mainly stick to the dumbbell work. I just like it and as I said, it works. So now we got a superset. We're gonna do a flat dumbbell fly, superset with body weight depths to failure. This is gonna be the last exercise for chest. We're gonna do one more set, the last set. And this one, we're gonna superset that with push-ups to failure, to push those last reps out, push all the energy out, blow up the chest, and then do some cable work for triceps. That is it. Pretty simple, but as I said, it works. So, as long as it works, You know what it is? In the beginning when I started with working out, I always thought like, let's start easy, you know, save some energy for later on a workout, but no, you need to give it all, every single set, push yourself to the limits, make it as brutal as possible. After every set, you need to have like this feeling that you're gonna pass out almost, you know, that's when you know that you're pushing yourself, pushing your limits, and really, testing what your body can do. Triceps, we're just gonna do some cable work. And cable work always gives an amazing fun. I just want to say that it takes time. You don't get strong every single week. You don't add like 10 kgs to every lift every single week. It takes time. Slow progress is also progress. So keep that in mind. Take things slow. Do it your own pace. Move at your own pace. And that is pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do so. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.